Hello everybody, today I'm going to be sharing a real sired dream experience from my book Chronicles of a Cosmic Space Case. The PDF link to this book and book three of my real sired experiences are in the links below the description of this video. Dream 31 Nanobot Robotization This dream would be a validation of not only the existence of nanobots, but the purpose they serve, and indeed how they are intended to serve as a further control mechanism for the ever bombarded human race. But the best form of control and manipulation was what you couldn't see, like invisible prison bars, as the easiest way to maintain slaves was to have them believe they were free. This dream began in a house. I was with a friend of mine from years ago that I no longer am in contact with. The house belonged to that of still another friend that I see on occasion. However, the house owner seemed not to be present, and so there was I and this other old friend. We were not alone. What was taking up residence in the house was a rather large spider, and like all spiders on the real side, it seemed not especially friendly. It had also blanketed the house interior with webbings. It was rather difficult to avoid the stuff. We would remain in the house for a few moments amongst the silky strands of web, but we did tentatively steer the spider into an adjacent room and sealed it inside, not wanting it directly in our vicinity. Seems this was an unwise course of action. The door reverberated, bulged, and trembled, as though something of immense volume was pressing against it from the other side. The door did burst open, and a sea of small bugs 
spelled from it. They directed their bug attentions on us and scuttled toward us with menace of numbers. We fled the house and ran down the street, but alas, the bugs were rather swift, and it was evident we wouldn't get far. Resigned to my fate, I would stop, and the bugs swarmed over me. My friend was ahead, a swifter runner than I, but I imagine he didn't make it much further. I half expected to be eaten, or stripped of my flesh, or something equally as macabre. But if the real side experiences have taught me anything, it is never assume. I was suddenly in an automatic objective view, standing as though outside of my body observing from a position beyond it. It was from here that I would regard the next scene. My vehicle was not destroyed. It seemed to have been possessed, taken over by an unknown force the cause of which, stemming from the bug interaction, I had absolutely no control of it, and I floated about in my detached awareness back to the house where this all began. The house who it belonged to was back, and he was amongst others who were just as controlled. They opened a closet, and within was what can only be described as versions of them me, my other friend, and others, hanging like overcoats, screaming in fear and agitation. The controlled vehicled people sealed the closet, quite content it would seem with the situation. Then the final scene. I was in some kind of new world. It had similarities to Earth. I was still in my detached awareness state and looking at my body vehicle that seemed to be here, seemingly making a connection with it, I sparked it out of its personal self only, and had the impression I had installed its want to become more aware. I had a flash of many years of time in this place, and how this personal self here 
would go about seeking answers, unveiling the secrets of the world it now found itself in, and ultimately recognise the real intent, and go about the process of becoming more aware. So again, yes, there is this spider theme that runs through many of my real side dreams of late. I had put forward the possibility of these spiders as astral entities of a kind, hijacking human vehicles, so perhaps this is along the same lines as we would find a spider nestled in the house of a friend, the house representing his personal created consciousness on the real side, but with a resident spider, so suggesting his vehicle was hijacked, or at least being parasitized. Energy usurped by this creature. The webbing indicated extreme levels of tap lining, as this individual has no interest beyond the personal self, he will be extremely taplined, but a few more added on top via an agreement with this strange spider creature. On another dream I had suggested the agreement is secured subliminally through the internet. The spider creatures using this technology as a medium for this purpose. Maybe the hint being the naming of it as the World Wide Web. The fact the house was vacant suggests the vehicle stealing is complete. The individual whose vehicle it was has now passed on, and the door open was an invitation and quite possibly a trap. Maybe the spider creatures can latch onto others through presumed friendship, an infection spread by trust, for with trust and emotional attachment there are tap lines, but instead of a tap line to a friend, it is now to the entity a spider who has claimed the vehicle, unbeknownst to us. And what if we have a kind of a collective? a spider entity collective, maybe being taplined by one, can open the way for all others to connect with you too.
and using the means by which one can latch onto a person.